This uh, video is going to be a short one. Um, it's basically figuring out gear ratios. If you've got a four-wheel drive and you replace the front or the rear diff, you got to make sure you know what the gear ratio is so you can match the, uh, the other end. Or if you're looking in a junkyard and you're just wanting a particular ratio. This is a Jeep Cherokee and um, I have no idea what the ratio is but uh, we're going to find out. We've got a you do a little bit of research first on the internet and you'll find uh, what ratios it could be. So we've got 307, 331, 355, 373, 410, or 456. So it's going to be most likely one of those. Now, the 100% way of knowing exactly what it is is to take the cover off and count teeth. Take a marker, a chalk, and mark the tooth, spin the gears, and count, and then do your math. Divide the large number of teeth, the ring gear, by the small number of teeth, the pinion. Um, sometimes, some gear sets have got the uh, ratios marked on them. It'll be uh, like 37, 9, or something like that, and then you just do the math. You divide the big number by the small number. But sometimes you don't want to be pulling diff covers off all the time. Now another way is on, on GM's and some Fords you can find, uh, well GM calls it an RPO, I don't know what uh, Ford calls it, but it, Ford's on a door jam and there'll be a code number there and uh, GM has got uh, codes, if you look in the glove box, if the sticker is still there, then uh, you know it'll say something like G42 or GU8 or something like that. Um, by the way, if it's a GM and it says G80, that's a limited slip. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to just spin the wheels. We're going to find out. Now, you have to know whether it's got an open diff. In other words, you spin one wheel and the other one either doesn't move. I'm going to turn this one forward. And that one's going forward. So, either we have a limited slip or uh, it's just uh, it's just a little bit tight in the differential. but. Uh, it could be a limited slip, we don't know. Uh, if it is a limited slip, then there's no problem as long as both wheels turn the same speed as far as doing the, the math calculation here. If uh, one wheel spins forward and one goes backwards, you have to grab them with your arms and uh, spin them both at the same time. And I put paint marks up here by the leaf spring on both sides. And I put a paint mark down here on the uh, pinion yoke on the U-joint here. And I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and you're going to watch that pinion turn and I'm going to spin the uh, these wheels around one full revolution and this will turn uh, several times faster so I'm going to put you on the tripod now okay I'm going to start spinning the wheels now I'm going to make sure that they both turn one complete revolution yeah it feels like a limited slip both wheels are turning the same amount I hope you're counting. <laughs> I'm not counting. Okay, I'm going to spin both wheels in the same direction. And uh, you're going to count the number of times this goes around. And uh, it won't be a, a complete full uh, number of turns. It'll be a partial. So it may turn over like three, and then a three and a half or a quarter or whatever. And that's important that we note that. Okay, so you're going to watch and count, and I'm going to spin these wheels here. There's half, there's one, one and a half, there's two, two and a half. Okay, now we got to watch because I'm coming up to the paint marks on the leaf spring. There's three, so now it's going to be a three something rear end. So we watch careful, there's 325, That's because that's a quarter turn. There's 3.5 right there, and that's where the paint marks line up. So it's going to be the closest ratio to a 3.5. So again, we refer to what we found on the internet, and we've got a 355. So that's a 355 ratio, because it's turned three and a half turns, it's at the top there. So if it was a 456 ratio, it would turn four, four times and end up in the same spot there.
four, four times and four and a half. So uh, that's one way of doing it. And uh, it's probably the most common way to do it. Just make sure both wheels turn. If you've got a vehicle and you want to jack up one wheel and it's an open diff, you can do the same thing. Make sure the vehicle is safely on stands. And uh, the, if you spin the wheel and one wheel is uh, on the ground and not spinning, the pinion will turn twice as fast, twice, twi twice the number of turns. So if this was a 355 ratio, it would turn uh, about seven times. Okay, so you got to divide that number by half. So that's it. Good luck.